Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we check out the Hideout 5-Way Commuter Pack from Everyman. A bag that's good for urban commuting, but also can be used for minimalist weekend travel. I'm Ed from Rush Faster, and we do guides and walkthroughs, bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also hitting the bell. Let's dive in and check out the Hideout 5-Way Commuter Pack from Everyman. The five-way commuter pack comes from Everyman, a US carry company based out of Iowa. They make a number of carry goods, but they also make a bunch of accessories as well. And we'll take a look at that later on in the video. If you want to check out some of the product specs and details of this bag as we go through it in the video, there is a link in the description below as well as a QR code on the screen right now for you to scan with your phone camera. And if you want to keep up to date with news in the carry world, we have a Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter that you can subscribe to where we talk about that said news and also give away some carry gear to our subscribers every month. If you want to enter your chance to win on that, be sure that you're subscribed to the channel and also the newsletter. Okay, so starting off with the materials of the Everyman Hideout 5-Way Commuter Pack. The exterior fabric is a really burly fabric. It is a 1680 denier ballistic nylon. So really abrasion resistant, really rugged. It's also PU line, so there's a bit of water resistance in the fabric as well. In terms of hardware, we've got aluminium hardware. We've got some water resistant PU coated zippers from GCC. In terms of branding, there is very little branding. The only branding I can see here is this little Everyman tag here on the exterior. There's a little bit of Everyman branding inside the bag as well, but from the exterior, we've just got that little brand tag there. Now on the front face, no compartments here, very minimal, very clean, but on the back, we have our little back panel here. Now, as I mentioned, this is a five-way commuter pack, so there are five different carry configurations. One of them is with the backpack straps, and they're currently stowed away in this little zippered compartment at the top here. So once you take those out, we have these curved and air mesh padded shoulder straps. You can hear a little bit of a crinkle in there, which is a little bit interesting there, but these are curved and padded shoulder straps and they hook into these little loops here at the bottom via these aluminium G hooks. So once you've got those straps hooked into those loops, I'll be honest, it is a little bit tricky getting them into those loops. But once you get into them, you can carry it as a backpack and then you have little ladder locks here that you can adjust the strap slack on there. When you open up that zippered compartment here, you also get a little carry hook, which is a bit useful. So you can carry this off any hooks, maybe bathroom doors, anything like that. That's useful as well. When you're not using the straps, they're much easier to take off. So you can just take those off, tuck it away inside this back compartment. as well as that little carry hook, and then zip it up. Another carry configuration with the Hideout 5-Way Commuter Pack is via the shoulder strap. So we have a padded shoulder strap with that same air mesh padding. We've got those aluminium G hooks to hook onto the sides of the bag. Once you hook those G hooks into those loops there, you can carry this bag either over the shoulder or also crossbody. But you also have the option of carrying this bag through the traditional hall handles which are currently stowed away for briefcase carry. So if you just open up that zipper there, we have a nice fleece line, kind of faux fur, velvety feeling material in there. So that's good for perhaps storing a phone or anything that you want to keep scratch free. Those hall handles are stowed in there. So once you pull that out, there's also another one on this side here as well. You can pull out those hall handles and you can carry it in briefcase mode. These handles aren't padded, but they are reinforced. They're folded over in their stitching. So it's a nice and rugged hall handle there. But when you've got all of those straps nicely tucked away, you can actually just carry the entire bag under your arm, kind of like a clutch. And those are the five modes of carry configuration. Okay, so we've looked at the carrying options. Now to look at some of the compartments of the bag. We've got a number of different compartments to help you organize gear. At the front here, we've got this big stash section that you can just dump a whole bunch of things inside. We've also got those two fleece lined compartments where you can also store gear inside there. And then we've got our main compartment where you'll be storing bigger items. And then at the back, we've got a little tech area where you can store your laptop devices, documents, and maybe even some pens. So looking at the first one here, this is the big stash section. So you can fit a number of big items inside there. I just have an air slim pouch, which has got most of my tech. 
And then I've got some reading glasses in there. And I've also got a Memo Bottle A5 water bottle. Memo Bottle have sponsored this video. They make slim, flat, and really unique water bottles that are a nice alternative to the everyday water bottle, like your Now Jeans, your Hydro Flask, your Yeti bottles, things like that. They're perfect for bags like these, which don't have a dedicated water bottle pocket. And so you can simply slip it into a bag like this, or a handbag, a satchel, a tote bag, and let it sit alongside other documents, papers, laptops, or anything flat. As mentioned, they have a nice aesthetic appeal. It is really unique, and you can further customize the Memo Bottle to your liking. So you can add a silicon sleeve to just give it a bit of style and also a bit more grip. It's nice and grippy with this sleeve. And you can also customize the lid to your liking as well. You can swap out the standard lid with some more metallic lids and different colors, things like that. If you're interested in the Memo Bottle, you can check it out in the link in the description below, much like all the other products that you'll see in this video. But as mentioned, this pocket here is a pretty big compartment. You can see these little pleats here that allow this compartment to have dimension and space. So you can put a number of big items inside there, big tech pouches, maybe not the Peak Design tech pouch, that's probably too big, but you can have tech pouches that are reasonably packed out like this Air Slim pouch and put them in there with no problems. If you had a down jacket, you could chuck it in there. Now, looking at this compartment here, this small compartment there, as well as this small compartment here at the back, these two pockets are the pockets that hold our haul handles that you can quickly take out to carry in briefcase mode. But as mentioned, it has that nice fleece line, velour, velvet feeling material. You can put delicate items like some Bluetooth wireless earphones or a mobile phone, or maybe sunglasses, things like that, if you wanna put them in there. Just keep in mind that if you are taking the hall handles in and out, you don't want to accidentally take out some of your gear. So just keep that in mind if you are storing gear inside those zippered compartments. Our next compartment is our biggest compartment where you'll be storing gear if you're taking this bag for minimal weekend travel. It opens up clamshell, which is really useful to let you see all of your gear inside the bag. And inside the bag, it comes with four different packing cubes to allow you just to organize the gear that you're carrying. So here I have a bunch of shirts and undergarments in there. I've got a little bit more tech. I've got my hard drive and some cables in there. And then I've got some toiletries in this small one here. And then here I've just got a large jacket and a pair of shoes there. These packing cubes are actually attached on via Velcro. So just on the base of these packing cubes, we have this line of smart Velcro to attach onto this inner layer inside the compartment. The packing cubes have this nice little laminated mesh inside so you can actually see what's inside those packing cubes which is really helpful. So we have two small ones, a medium sized one and then this large one here. Now inside we've also got these compression buckle straps here which if which, which can help compress some of the gear down so you have a much more slimmer silhouette when you close this bag up. They're hooked on simply by these G-hooks into these loops. If you don't wanna use these straps and you just wanna reduce some of the bulk in the bag, you can simply take these off and stow it away somewhere else. Or if you don't want the trouble of all these packing cubes, you can simply put clothing in there and stitch it down with these compression straps. So you have a number of different options on how you want to compress or not compress gear. Last but not least, we have our final compartment, which is our laptop and organization compartment. And this opens up clamshell as well. So as mentioned, there's a little bit of branding here inside this compartment, just has an everyman patch there and a few little more details at the bottom. Here we have what is called a Wooltech sleeve. This is a TSA approved laptop sleeve. It is a fairly large laptop sleeve. It'll fit most 16 inch laptops and potentially even some 17 inch laptops. It's also a suspended laptop sleeve, so you'll be protected from any bumps or falls. And then just above that, we also have a little padded tablet sleeve as well. And this is all cinched down via Velcro. Inside that sleeve, I've just got a little A5 workbook. Moving on to the other side, we've got two slip pockets here and a small slip pocket in the middle. In one of them, I've just got my Bellroy travel folio for passports and things like that. And in the middle here, I just have an Everyman Grafton pen. As mentioned, Everyman make a number of carry bags as well as little accessories like this. This is the Grafton pen. There is also a smaller version, the Grafton pen mini, and a number of different other variants like the mechanical pencil. 
It's made of 100% anodized aluminium. It's expertly weighted and has a heavy duty clip. Really nice and refined design there. Everyman also makes a number of different accessories. This is one of them. This is the Porter Key Knife, which is just a little multi-tool with a little blade as well as a bottle opener. It also comes with a little cable key ring here as well. You can easily attach it onto your set of keys, like an Orbit key or even a Belroy key holder. This is made of stainless steel and it also only weighs one ounce. Everyman makes a number of accessories just like this, so if you're interested, check it out in the link below. Getting back to the compartments of the bag, just behind here, we have another slip pocket that goes to the end of the bag and so that's good for storing perhaps a magazine or any other books but there's also a little key leash here which you can attach your keys to so you have that option there as well behind here we have a zippered compartment which is just a way to segment some of your gear so you could put in maybe a manila folder or any important documents that you don't want to lose and that's the organization and tech compartment now we won't be able to conduct the rush faster beer capacity test to see how many six-pack tinnies we can fit in this bag because that main compartment just doesn't have the width to store the six pack tinnies. But I can tell you that this main compartment here has a maximum capacity of 18 liters. And if you combine that with the space in this compartment, as well as the space in that big front section, you probably have about 25 liters of storage capacity overall. So here are the carrying options for the hideout five way pack. If you don't have any of the straps attached, you can just carry it under the arm like so. You can carry just on the side over the shoulder as well. You can carry it crossbody. As a brief with the stowable hall handles. And also as a backpack. For your reference, I'm 5'10". Well everyone, there you have it, the Everyman 5-Way Commuter Pack. Five different carrying options, really burly materials, sleek and understated design, perfect for urban commuting and also for lightweight weekend travel. If you found this video helpful, you enjoyed it and you are thinking about getting one of these, please consider using some of our affiliate links. There is one in the description below as well as a QR code on the screen for you to scan your phone camera. Using those affiliate links really do help support the work of the channel at no extra cost to you. And if you want to support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, let us know your thoughts about this bag in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts about the five-way carry system as well as its comparison to other five or three-way carry bags in the market today. But as always subscribe to see more carry gear walkthroughs if you haven't already and also subscribe to see our rush faster carry roundup newsletter if you want to see more videos like this check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video but for now this has been the everyman five-way commuter pack take care and we'll see you next time